Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today's a special edition. I picked up a new gadget for uh, my office here, and I thought I'd share it with you. Well, I guess I really didn't pick it up. It was a birthday present. So uh, with that said, let's take a look at it. And here's the latest gadget that I have for my little home office. And yes, it's a coffee maker, but it's a lot more than just a coffee maker. It can also make cold drinks, hot coffee... Well, it does quite a few things. There's three different cup sizes. You have your smaller you know, tea or espresso type cup, your regular coffee, at least American coffee size mug, and then your travel size mug. So it comes with 12 uh, cups of coffee already, at least the little packages for it. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. So I'm going to come over, start opening it up. not sure if you can really read the print. It's upside down anyway, so it just talks about the different types of coffee. And of course the instructions on how to unpack it. But of course, you know, being guys, we don't read that. So, looks like we have some documentation. Put that to the side. Uh, this is our 12 pack of coffee. And the one thing I really like about uh, the system is the fact that you can buy these little boxes of coffee packs and right now uh, they're equating to about oh, about 50 cents a cup of coffee so that's actually pretty cheap I'll open this in a little bit let's actually get into the actual coffee maker uh, maybe I should read the instructions on how to unpack so it's just to lay it on its side and slide it out. So I guess we'll do that. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. And uh, I'm going to slide the coffee maker out. on the ground. Okay, so here's what we get out of the box. We have a power cable, which we'll want that. It comes wrapped in foam. Uh, it's upside down, so I'm going to quickly flip it over. Okay, I've got it flipped over, so I'm going to take it out of the foam. A little bit awkward with one hand. a squeaky styrofoam for my son to play with. So it's wrapped in a bag. And I'm just going to open this bag and pull it off. I guess it would be good to invest in a tripod. And voila! The coffee maker. So here's the view from the front. Coffee goes in here. You just drop a little packet in there. We have a water reservoir. It holds 48 ounces. And it takes about a minute to brew a cup of coffee. So, can't wait to have a 48 ounce cup of coffee. We do have an LCD display. And there's a bunch of little tape here. So, I'm going to take these little tapey pieces off. as well as the little protector over the display since it has writing on. Now imagine at some point in time I will want to read the instructions. Take a look at the reservoir here. The lid comes off. Uh, some more tape on the back. Nothing inside. The tape off the uh, top of the reservoir. And I'm going to pause the video and 
go rinse out the reservoir and fill it up and we'll come back and make a cup of coffee and see how it is. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I've got it filled up full of water. Uh, I haven't powered it on yet, but I have opened up the coffee. And it comes with 12. I've already taken one out. It's an, uh, an Italian blend by Timothy's. I haven't tried that before, so this will be a first time. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And it has a typical on switch button. I'm not sure if you can actually see the LCD display or not. It just says not ready. It's a little loud. It's louder than I thought it would be. But, you know, I can't complain. It was a, a birthday present, so... I'm actually going to open it up. I'm going to put my coffee in now. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to get my little mug here. And luckily it does fit. I assume it's actually heating up, so uh, it stopped making noise. We now have a menu button. So we'll hit the menu button. It says it's off. You can set a timer if you want. And it also looks like you can set a clock. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, you can actually set a brew temperature, which is set at 192 degrees. So it's warming up. It's supposed to be less than a minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the recording while it warms up. I guess while it warms up, I am going to have to make more room on my desk, it seems. Now I do have a KVM switch, so I'll probably get rid of this monitor, the neck, and just hook the computer that's up to the neck, which is my Linux box, and probably just hook it up to the same monitor that my Windows box uses. And of course, my Mac has its own monitor since I use it the most. And it's ready to brew. So, our little button's flashing. I'm just going to hit the large mug. And away it goes. I guess I've used a mug that was a little too tall. You can't really see it come out. But the LCD does say it's brewing. Doesn't sound like the healthiest coffee maker, but. We'll soon find out how it tastes. So I do have it set to be a large mug. Now admittedly it's not the regular size of mug that I use, but it's good enough. So I'll be able to set the timer to have it have my cup of coffee ready for me for the next live show. And it says it's still brewing. It looks like the cup's about half full. And it's definitely louder than I thought it would be. And it says it's done. So on the large mug setting, it looks like I get a little over half a mug. Let's take this out. So it's about, oh, I'd say about two-thirds full. The top is a little bit bigger than the bottom, of the mug that is. So let's try it out. Now the temperature is really good. It has a really nice full flavor. I like it much better than the coffee we're using now. We have a Sumatra blend. I've never had Timothy's before. Actually, I really do kind of like this coffee. It's a, a strong tasting coffee. I can't quite tell what it's in. I'm not really a coffee connoisseur. I just like drinking coffee and other hot beverages. So Anyway, that's my little quick unboxing of my little coffee maker for my desk and I uh, hope you liked it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.